بقى فعال ومجدي I'll take I'll take you to another area now I'll take to advances in neurology Okay All of the pediatrician they know is in May. Spinal muscular atrophy is a fatal disease. 10 years back. What's, what's spinal muscular atrophy? Spinal muscular atrophy is autosomal recessive disease, okay? Characterized by progressive degeneration of anterior horn cell. It's autosomal disease. His frequency is one per 100,000. It's characterized by motor death or degeneration of anterior horn cell D2 mutation gene in spinal or it's called spinal muscular atrophy or survival motor neuron gene. The spinal muscular timeline, the Warding and Hoffman, they discovered disease in 1891 and 1819 or 1893. In 2007, the standard care of management had been advised. The first discovery of gene was in 1995, and the animal model was introduced in, uh, in 2000. Uh, the new spinal muscular disorder was first, as we said, reported by Warding and Hoffman. What's spinal muscular atrophy? We said, and what's the problem actually is the deletion of the gene responsible about production of survival motor protein, which is important for the survival of anterior horn cell. Deletion of this uh, uh, gene leading to the absence of this protein. Uh, and actually, another gene uh, in, in human and healthy human being. It's called um, uh, spinal muscular uh, survival motor neuron 2 gene, producing a little amount of this survival motor, uh, uh, motor protein. If human being have no SMN1 and have SMN2, copies of SMN2, the human being or the fetus will survive for a few months, okay? And this is the uh, uh, idea behind the uh, segment one, the deletion of spinal muscular protein type one or survival motor neuron uh, gene type one. The uh, warning though, the uh, spinal muscular atrophy, what we call it, warding Hoffman, the severe form we call it warding Hoffman, they, they presented with hypotonic baby, floppy infant, paralyzed floppy infant. And this baby, usually they have difficulty in swallowing, they have difficulty in breathing with the time. Okay, and usually died at certain time according to type of the disease. There is different type of spinal muscular atrophy. Type one, this, the common type, is from about 60% of the patient of spinal muscular atrophy. Oh, what called warding Hoffman disease. And this baby or the children, they don't survive more than two years of age. And actually, it's they presented in the first few months. And they have no spinal muscular uh, gene, uh, spinal muscular atrophy type one gene, but they have some copies of spinal muscular uh, atrophy, uh, SMN2. Uh, and usually they present, as we said, severe paralysis, severe sparse disease, and they have even difficult swelling and we have severe wasting and uh, hypotonia and they died before uh, two years and this type, they never sit and they die with respiratory infection uh, by two years of age. Type three was formed 30% of the cases, they may able to sit and they survive longer, okay, more than two years, even they reach the other, uh, stage, this type two. And usually they have more copies of spinal muscular atrophy uh, genes uh, uh, type two. 
The other types is less in number and usually they survive longer, type three and four. But the common type is type one. And type one, which all of you have seen, so what called Warden Hoffman, they died early. And as we said in the uh, last decade, we have no specific therapy and they say that there's no treatment for disease. Okay, what happened to type one if not treated? Of course, all the patients, or 90 percent of the patients who don't receive any sort of treatment, they died by two years, or they need uh, intensive in ventilation at two years of age. And as you see, this is the 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 natural history or natural outcome of patient with type. This is the natural history of the type one, they died by two years of age. Is all the floppy infant at, 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 at birth are warding Hoffman or what called spinal muscular atrophy? No, there's a big list of differential diagnoses, okay? And actually the warding Hoffman, they're characterized by will, good will being, like in all, all the, they are central, they have complete paralysis, uh, there are differential, big list of differential diagnoses. One of them is shark merited disease, congenital muscle syndrome or dystrophies, and of course, congenital myopathy and other uh, peripheral causes, plus the central causes like metabolic disease, chromosomal disorder, and structural brain anomaly may be present at the floppy at birth. So what we have to do, we have to confirm the diagnosis with the SMA testing, what we call it, we have to do West test or West, but we have to look for the uh, gene or spinal muscular type one gene. If it's absent or deleted, we know that the, we can we confirm diagnosis. Five patients of the warning Hoffman or what called spinal muscular atrophy, they're not, they, they don't relate to the SMA1 deficiency or uh, SMA1 deletion syndrome. And that's other syndromes uh, we have to, uh, look it for if the SMA1 deletion is negative. Prenatal diagnosis available. If we know the mutation, if we know the defect of the gene, so we can do it, the gene, we can do look for the gene antenatally by uh, amniocentesis or by uh, chronic villus uh, biopsy or uh, biopsy. This is the SMA. So is any treatment for SMA? Of course, the standard therapy or standard treatment is supportive and standard care, which is consists of multi, uh, of uh, pediatric, uh, multi, multidisciplinary care team, including the respiratory therapy, nutritional therapy, orthopedic care, physical therapy, spinal care, and of course, uh, a new recent medication of treatment. One of the recent medication of case, so sorry, the, if you want to start treatment, you have to start treatment, especially for spinal muscular atrophy type one, which they died as early as the end of second year. If you want to start therapy, you have to start treatment before uh, the six months or as early as possible. So early diagnosis is most important for management because if spinal muscular atrophy get delayed in diagnosis, the until home cell damage already occur, and the outcome will be less if you treat them late. Uh, late. So early treatment as early as possible is very important. For this reason, a lot of countries now, they started a new, uh, neonatal screening program, including North America, South America, Europe. So they include the uh, screening program for the uh, it's a men, a spinal muscular atrophy and their natal screening program. And in our country, early education or early detection by the education or increased awareness of pediatrician and peripheral hospital and small city by continuous medical education and by family uh, screening is very important for early detection and the early treatment. Treatment now is available since uh, 2015 and the first drug which has been discovered for treatment is spinaraza. Spinaraza or is the blam, uh, sorry, neosyrensin were the, uh, started in the uh, 2019, 2005, 15, 2015. It's very expensive drug, okay? And actually it's blessing modifier 
for uh, messenger RNA to increase the production of SMN2. Expensive drug, it costs about 700,000, 50, okay, thousand dollars, uh, $750,000 dollar per year. And actually it's given through the intra uh way on injection. The second drugs has been, or the second treatment has been discovered is the gene therapy. And gene therapy considered to be one of the expensive gene therapy in the world. Uh, it's cost about 2 million per injection. This is uh, some uh, rules for this or some uh, successful, it's more successful than the other drugs because it should be given once, once a year or once a life. The third drug is the oral therapy or Ristiblam or uh, Ristiblam, another splicing modifier is going, giving by oral therapy. It also costs about $100,000 uh, per year. We talk about Ristiblam first because this is a drug which is used in Libya nowadays. And actually, as we said, the drug demonstrated a significant increase in action 7 inclusion in SM2, messenger ribonucleic acid, and transcript and production of full length of SM mode, uh, is leading to the production of good amount of S S survival motor protein in the brain. And this has been recently approved by FDA in 2020. Last data of Rissiblam that this is multi uh, center, uh, actually, it's the multi center, multi center open label two part study uh, in fresh, uh, called the fresh bar two and one uh, fresh bar one. This study had been through, uh, done all over uh, the multi, multi countries, 17, about uh, 14 hospitals uh, in 10 countries, Europe, North America, South Africa, and Asia. The, this study actually include two parts. The first part take two, two years and the third part finish the, the uh, third year. And actually they assist two things. They assist the fixie and the outcome measures of risk development therapy. And the second part, they assist, they assist the toxicity of the risk development. In the, the, regarding the, uh, the motor evaluation, uh, in the uh, first two year uh, of the Rishabdab therapy, they showed that 75, 73% or 73 uh, patients of the uh, uh, patient included in the study, uh, they, about, uh, they, they are about 50, 53, 58 patients were included in the study. 37 of them, they are able to con head control within two years and 17 or 31 percent of them, they are able to sit, and 23 they are able to roll out, and the standing alone, the about seven of them they are able to stand, and one of them they are able to walk within two years. This number increasing with after the uh, 36 months. Without treatment, children with type one SMA are never able to sit without support. The blood treatment resulted in the majority of infants maintaining, showing improvement in the, uh, their uh, uh, motor score assessments. As we see that most of them discope and they die within two years if, if not treated. While if treated, they are able to, to stand or even to walk with support after that period. Median time to reaching death or permanent ventilation uh, was not established in the treated uh, patients. They are able, this, this group basically, they are able to swallow alone at 24 months and are able to feed within 48, uh, sorry, 72, uh, 72 months. In natural history called all infants with type 1 SMA older than 12 months required feeding support if they don't treat. Regarding the adverse effect of this drug, the, there's minor uh, adverse effect on the serious adverse effect. Okay, the common uh, adverse effect is the fever during the 
period of uh, study, while common specific was pneumonia. If they have no treatment, uh, the adverse effect and the uh, severe adverse effects was more in the non-treated patient. Okay, the hospitalization period, actually the time of hospitalization increased during the period of their study, while if they don't need treated, they are more hospitalization time than if they treated. In conclusion, regarding this diploma, 91% of winter were alive at, at 36 months. Infant treated with this plan maintained or continued to improve their ability to sit without support. Okay, improvement in motor function and treatment results in a continued achievement of motor milestone and the treatment with the, 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 the rate of side effects is less with the, uh, during the treatment. Period, the measures of infant maintain the ability to swallow, the rate of hospitalization decrease during the treatment period. The other treatment which is given for this, or usually given for the spinal muscular atrophy is ear replacement therapy, okay? As, as had, been, had been approved since 19, or two, uh, 2019, and ear replacement therapy of spinal muscular atrophy was approved by the FDA at that time, at that date, and actually, it's Zolgensma, or brand name Zolgensma, uh, is the new work on copy of human SMNG, makes up for missing or non-working survival motor neuron one. It has been the, the indication of this gene therapy in all the country, it should be less than two years of age, and in, uh, with anti uh, adenovirus, associated, uh, associated adenovirus 99, negative antibodies. Even in Egypt, they have reduced this age up to six months. And this is the right way, because after six months, the anterior horn cell mortality are more or damaged until uh, anterior horn cell increase, and the, the recovery actually or the outcome will be less if you delayed the time of gene therapy. It's in the gene therapy, the SME gene inserted into the viral vector, the main viral vector adenovirus associated number nine, carrying the SME gene uh, delivered into target cells, tissue of the patient via injection. Okay? And actually, the recommended dose of this gene is. 1.1 bear uh, multiply 100 bear four, uh, bar four. Uh, the SMA gene replace therapy is given as a one time fusion into the vein using an IV line. The infusion will run for 30, 60 months. Your uh, the child vital sign will be checked every three months. So it's take about one day medicine unit admission. Okay. Unfortunately, the, these children should have low. Uh, adenovirus associated, adeno associated virus 9 antibody level. If the level is more than 50, the injection boss bond and the till the virus load comes down, or they look for another therapy option. The child should have low liver function test regularly and complete blood count, tribunin and creatine evaluation regularly. The medication request based on weight and laboratory result. The clinical state of patient was assessed for sign of infection. You should not get infection before. She should not have infection before the gene therapy. Of course, there is a protocol prophylactic brisolone, and brisolone starts it in uh, one day before in, uh, for viral injection, uh, up to 30 days, and then tablet over another over another month. And if the patient has the high liver enzyme the steroid may give it longer or the dose of steroid increase. So this is the gene therapy. The third option is the uh, non sinal spinalaza therapy. As we said, spinalaza should be given uh, intrathecally, uh, intrathecal injection, injection, and this injection actually given in special uh, courses. The first course starts First, uh, at time of diagnosis or after death, and then every two weeks dose for three doses, 
and then after one month, the full dose, and after that, four monthly every year. And it's uh, actually given into fecal, and actually this needs special training until, uh, through the guideline of ultrasound guideline. Uh, you may have problem with the shy health scoliosis and should not actually long recommend in Libya because Libya is a wide country, so we can't train everybody to get the, the, the uh, treatment. Actually, in the last year, we, checked, we diagnosed about 100, 100 patients with spinal muscular array, uh, with the semi different type of spinal muscular atrophy. Okay, uh, all of them received uh, restiblam already, uh, except uh, 20 patients we sent for uh, for gene therapy in Egypt, and they have received 18 of them. They received gene therapy. 11 patients of all. The hand that had been diagnosed in Benghazi. In Benghazi, the first patient was, this is case scenario, the first patient diagnosed in the uh, beginning of this year it was uh, Ilan Abdel Nasser, four months male, and has all the criteria of World Hoffman confirmed the diagnosed by gene uh, diagnosis and proved to have uh, no SMN1, uh, SMN and they have two copies of SMN2, and the support of therapy had been started, but she was in the uh, clinical, poor clinical status. He had severely uh, wasted because he was not able to uh, swallow. He had the severe uh, paraplegia and severe quadriplegia, actually, and he had this breast infection. We sent her for gene therapy, but unfortunately she died before she was able to do the gene therapy. Second case was Yahya Muhammad, and he diagnosed earlier because of high, uh, high incidence of disease in the family. They have three children or three brothers that died uh, with the same disease. We catch her early. We do the gene, uh, gene therapy early. Uh, she was lucky, or he was lucky, because we have this diploma already. We start her in this diploma. She has some problem. Uh, we confirm the diagnosis, of course, before uh, this diploma. She has uh, supportive care, and she would treat her properly with supportive care. He went to Egypt. He received the gene therapy successfully, and he's now doing well, and he looks better than the previous child. So we have 11 patients where we diagnosed in one in Benghazi since beginning January two, uh, two, 2023, including four with SMA1, with uh, six with SMA2, and one with SMA3. The median age were 44, 44 months. Female to male ratio was equal, six to eight, five nearly equal. Eight, eight of them received oral sublam during follow up duration of eight months. The median duration of disease from sim uh, symptoms onset to initial door, oral dose was 36 seven months. Six patients were diagnosed in Benghazi, Central Hospital, and five were diagnosed in Children's Hospital. The baseline characteristics of patients are shown in table two. One, all patients had homozygous SMN1 deletion. Four SMN, SMA type 1 patients had two copies of SMN2, and three SMA type 2 patients had three copies of SMN2. Elbow, Knee and ankle joint contracture observed in three patients. Six patients had scoliosis. Two of them had surgical correction in Jordan. One patient with SMA type 1 received four hours of both of ventilation, and six patients had scoliosis, as we said. This is the characteristic of our eight patients who received with the blam, two uh, received gene therapy, one died. Function outcome of our patient to SMA, SMA type 1 patient who starts a treatment within a month from symptom onset had much better improvement as compared with the other patient. All patients with SMA type 2 showed an increase in at least two points from baseline in, uh, in the motor scale. The spirit state of most patients remains stable. One patient with SMA, SMA type 1 using non invasive ventilation uh, to prevent this by failure and chest wall distortion, uh, distortion showed reduction of required 
hours of uh, ventilation. And we starting with this dam uh, for one patient before gene therapy, three patients, one went to institute for gene therapy, one expired and two doing well and show improvement in the shop below. Intended score, six patients has scoliosis. Okay, and conclusion. Spinal macular artery type one is the most the common type and had poor outcome if not treated early. In Libya, at present time, we have about 100 patients of different SMA types, 80 patients under risk development therapy. Risk development considered as suitable therapy at present time for Libyan patient and was recommended for Libyan patient with SMA since January 2023, as it has been non-invasive model of administration, not need special training for administration, coupled with body weight distribution. All this provides the blame clear advantage or over other approvals, especially Libya is a white country and uh, small, small cities, so we can't do gene therapy or intrathecal treatment all over this country. And the rest of them, other thing, you can transfer easily from place to place. Uh, 16 patients receive gene therapy, four patients waiting, and there's a trial of, in, trial of indigenization of gene therapy in Libya with a lot of challenges. There were no significant difference in long-term outcome all over the world for different types of treatment in Sismay. That means, till now, no proof of that gene therapy is superior or is superior or spinal rasa is superior to each other. Yani all are equally working spinal muscular artery. Thank you. Thank you very much, esteemed professor, for a highly professional session. And I would like to thank you especially for raising awareness of early diagnosis. We um, in uh, highlighting its importance لان في انواع بتمانيفست ليتلي وده بيقلل فرصتها انها تبقى مانجد افيشنتلي ف ثانك يو فيري ماتش اند انفايتنج فور كويستشنز انا دكتوره سعد خيري عميد معهد القومي للتغذيه انا بس كنت عايزه اد سمثينج يعني ان ايه عندنا هنا البريزيدنشال انيشيتيفز فور اس ام اي واللي بتهدف لايرلي سكريننج اند مانجمنت اوف تشيلدرن وذ اس ام اي في كان فيها كم يعني الكومبايند نيوتريشنال اسسمنت اند نيوتريشنال كير للاطفال دول اثناء المانجمنت ده ادى سكسس ريت كبير قوي للاطفال اه اه من فروم ايرلي الدايجنوزس وسكريننج فور نيوتريشن اند اولسو most uh, of these children are uh, malnourished. Uh, and physiotherapy, this is give a success rate, high success rate in management of these children. Also. Yeah. Sure. Any more questions or highlighting? Okay, a very interesting session. Thank you very much, dear professors and colleagues. Uh, شكرا جدا استاذ دكتور سامح توفيق على الانفيتيشن الكريمه uh, اشكر الاساتذه والزملاء الحاضرين والشركه المنظمه وشكرا جدا